So there, there it is. So this particular diode is. Explain this guy. If you can see the military style diode, possibly a Zener diode, and it has a number on it. So it's a 1N4971. Mm -hmm. It also has a CRL written on it. Yeah. It looks like a glass diode. Is it a glass diode? It is glass, yeah. So this diode basically puts out a voltage. Yep. Mm -hmm. We can run that on a meter. Yeah, we will. I want to see that thing. Yes. No. Nope. Nope. Makes it easier to handle these things. Yes. Let's see if I can find another one. Hold one on there. Hold it on there. It's not going like that. It's kind of fun to walk around with it. Oh, really? Yeah. And actually, uh, watch it change. I don't know if that'll fit. Mm -hmm. I'd have one over. Wedge it in there and hold it. Maybe. <coughs> no. <I don't> <laughs> nope. I'm not cooperating with that. I've got my patience for that. Uh, Let's see if I can. So. A f th he's using this as a field finder. Mm hmm. We turn it. Would he connect? Yeah. Mm. I got the leads flipped around. About point one over there. Whoa, it went way down. Mm hmm. Feels stress detector. Yeah, go walk around with this thing. See what we find. Mm. Oh, down more. oh yeah. There you go. Whoa. Jumped up to 11. They are light sensitive as well. Oh well, yeah, that's what you were saying. That's interesting, those are light sensitive. In a large city, they we used to just walk around with it. I mean the other lab. Whoa! 54. <laughs> Back up a little bit. You think that's just from that light? Yeah, come back in the dark. Hmm. It had to be. It jumped all the way down. Mm-hmm. I know it's light sensitive. Wow. I'm going right over to the window. Yeah, it just jumped. How high we can get it? 56, 70, 80, 100. 
<laughs> Look at that. Gosh. We're over 200 milli. Uh -huh. Look at that. Wow. Here, let's switch it to current. Okay. Wow, we're over that. Over that too. Oh, this thing's funny too. It's... <clears throat> Here, back up, we'll see if it goes down. There we go, now we're in range. So you're telling me that's, that's over Two milliamps mm -hmm. at, and we were at 135 millivolts, mm -hmm. and it was it's it's wow, just <laughs> just from a little bit of light, and it's a and look at it though it's not even like how is it light sensitive it's not even clear if it's I know it's wow <laughs> and it's very old. It'd have to be from the 50s or 60s, this diode. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. the heck? Yep. Too much for it. So, a long time ago, my partners and I would walk around the city with these things, testing them. Different ones. Different types? Yeah. And then uh, my partner, George, Foreign Pinnacle Oil International and then X Energy Corporation. <coughs> Field stress detectors now written up in Wikipedia. But all a long story behind that because prior to that my other business partner had one too, but it was a vacuum tube technology. Okay. And then Georgie uh, and I and friends they had this and used it for detecting the hydrogen effect stuff. You could find the sweet spots. Yep. And when an event was going to happen, then as time moved on, George kind of took off and left us and developed Pinnacle Oil International. Because you oh. take this. That light kicked on. <laughs> <laughs> it went up to like 40. But this combined to a computer technology or a reference. You can detect earthquakes, water, oil, gas, and minerals. Or fault zones, I should say. Wow. And these are, it takes a lot to try and find one of these active ones. So there are some that aren't active? And most of the diodes are not, won't do this, except for these kind of things. You mean this particular diode, or There's of course a, a other diodes? family of these kind of diodes. Okay that seems to do this. That is fascinating. What does it look like on an oscilloscope? <laughs> hey, you got brought up. I don't know if I tried that. Maybe we Here, should. At this time. Maybe we should. It's probably just idea. a DC signal. Hmm? It's probably just a DC signal. Well, maybe, yeah. And we could flip it to AC to see if there's anything, I guess. Pretty pretty well steady. Pretty steady. Nothing. Because <laughs> I did switch the leads earlier to try to see if it would reverse, and it did. Okay. <clears throat> but let's try hold it to the light, mm -hmm. and let's switch these leads. Okay. And see if we get a the same potential. So just stay there. Mm-hmm. I'm holding this. Yeah, just don't move. Or it. How do we do this now? No, that's okay. I'll I'll do it. Oh, you, okay. You you hold it. I'm holding. So we're at what, 81, 80. Mm -hmm. So we'll flip these leads and see if we you. get a negative potential of the same. Okay. I'll put harder. There you go. Okay. 80. So it's a DC reading. That's awesome. I wonder how we can make it go negative. Maybe if you took it into a black room, maybe it would go negative. Hmm. A dark room? I can try it. I don't know. Dropping. Yeah, I got the lead switch still. You might have to switch them back to get positive reading. <laughs> that is pretty cool. It's going darker and darker. Oh, now we're down to zero, zero. What's it say? Zero, zero, one, zero, zero. Zero, zero, zero. Or zero, 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 no? 
Yep. Definitely the loudest light. Yep. So it's truly light sensitive for sure. Yep. Wow. That's quite fascinating. That is weird though, because you know, like light emitting diodes will act similar. Right. They will, tr you know, receive light, but this thing is. <clears throat> this is not. Yeah, it's not clear. You know what I mean? If the material was a clear glass diode, maybe I could say, sure, maybe it's the light. But this isn't a clear glass diode. This is a colored material. Yeah, I wonder if it's heat sensitive. Infrared. Point two, point three, point four. There's twenty nine, thirty. Twenty one, twenty. Drop down to the <laughs> see now it's doing. So maybe it is. Let me try it. Yeah. Just hold it. I'm just gonna touch the I'm gonna try to touch one lead only. Okay. doesn't like me. I touch the other lead. And if I touch both, it's pretty big. Yeah, it might have just been because we were picking up signal from us. What's climbing? You need to put it in a dark... Need to, need to actually put it in a heated... Container or something. Yeah. I actually try it. Some. Pull the lighter over it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that'd be a good idea. <laughs> Um, wow. Let's see, let me think about this. Uh, something that's plastic container, small, like a bottle, with my hand, heat would heat it up, maybe. That'd be fun to do. Let's see if I got anything in that's plastic. Oh, mug. What's that? Plastic? Yep. I'm not touching it. Yep, now you're not touching it. Yeah, put your hand over it. Boom! Look at that. <laughs> zero, zero, zero. Nothing. So it's definitely light, but light is, you know, multiple different things. Mm -hmm. But this incandescent light bulb is just heat radiation, right? It is. The sun is more of like cosmic radiation, so it's got all sorts of bands of frequencies going on. No. Light? No. Look at that. There we go. I mean, you're even holding it. Now I'll see if it changes at all. Is it heating up or am I just moving around? Hey, I think you're moving. <laughs> that is interesting. If I move like that, okay. Movement is even affecting it then. You still got that bottle it was in? Mm hmm. Stick it in there. That's dark. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I did. Did I bring it with me? Yeah, I did. Stick it in there and shake it. That's pretty dark too. Feather it's gonna go though. <laughs> Give it a shake.
Hmm. See if any of your samples give off anything. Mm -hmm. Don't see anything really. But if somebody wanted to experiment with the, this kind of thing, they should take a meter like this to their local junk shop. And just go over them and see. Just say you're looking for a special diode. And then just start going through all the diodes. Mm -hmm. Do you have to clip them off the board? Oh, uh, that's another problem. You probably uh, would, wouldn't you? I just think it's a super bargain. And clip, clip them off. But I tried this other diodes. Here, that is. Yeah. You found that one here? Yeah. Yeah, so that was in your collection. Clipped out of a piece of equipment. Well, that's what we used to do in the surplus store in Vancouver, is go in with the meter. And, and try to find them. Yeah. Like the Here, let me, let me take my cell phone mm -hmm. and shine light on that sucker really, really bright. See what oh, happens. Sure. So let's see, i got to turn it on. All right. So, go. Ah, you guys are cool. Yeah, let's turn it up one notch. Let's go to two volts. Okay. Oh, yeah, get my light on. So 320, and then let's flip it to amperage again and see if we can see anything. Sure. I got zero on that one. Wouldn't it be higher? I guess that's over range. It looks like it. It's over range now, I think. <laughs> it's acting funny earlier a little bit. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of odd. Yeah. I'll play with that one later, maybe. Well, yeah. I, as I recall, it's, it's um, almost George. Drove George to obsession with it. <laughs> he do the weirdest darn things, these dios. That's crazy. But I wasn't in the market to get into oil. Huh. George was. Oh, George was? Who's smart? Alec and I or George? Look at that. I don't know. As far as money goes, we we tried to pretty good. <laughs> so now we gotta spend a lifetime trying to find these diodes, huh? <laughs> yeah, well there's uh the variations on them too, and I think there's the variations of of that one that George perhaps found in searching for them. That is more reactive to um, not just light but other things. Do you have an oscilloscope connected in there? Um, let's see. I can experiment with it. Uh, Probably not. I just drag that other one in the other shot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Probably not then. Yeah, no. This is a fun guy. Yeah, you're gonna have to show me that. I was looking at that. Yeah. Uh.